When CL first unveiled its nitrous sodium ion battery alongside Free Void Dual Power and Shinching Super Fast Charging Batteries during its Super Tech Day on April 21, 2025, many were not prepared. Imagine a battery that works both in freezing winter and hot deserts yet will not catch fire. This is a battery that passed the nail penetration test, the high-speed drilling test, and the sawing test while fully charged, all while maintaining stable voltage. CL confirmed that Natra has officially entered mass production and is expected to ramp up output reportedly starting as early as June 2025, with full-scale manufacturing underway by late 2025. This battery represents a critical shift away from dependence on scarce lithium toward tapping into sodium's availability and abundance. That means cheaper raw materials, more stable prices, and less geopolitical risk. In fact, in a recent video, CL claimed its passenger EV cells could reach 175 watt-hours per kilogram, approximately 10,000-plus cycles, with an operating range of minus 40 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius, and a 500-kilometer range. Experts believe CL could drive sodium-ion market growth to an estimated $1.5 billion by 2030. To put this in perspective, global EV sales in 2024 alone were worth over $500 billion, and are expected to double by 2030. If sodium ion captures even a fraction of that market, say 5 to 10 percent, we are no longer talking about 1.5 billion, but tens of billions. That is the kind of jump Natra could trigger if it convinces automakers to switch from lithium to sodium at scale. How safe is CL Natra? From what was demonstrated it appears very safe. Engineers ran it through extreme safety tests including a multi-axis continuous crush test where the battery was attacked from multiple directions. A semi-cylindrical crush plate with a 75mm radius was used to press down on the battery along its x-axis until it deformed by about 30%. The test was repeated on the z-axis, squeezing it to 15% deformation, and on the y-axis for another 30%. Yet the fully charged battery remained intact and functional after this multi-axis crushing. It is one thing to design a battery that performs well in ideal lab conditions, but another to make one that can endure such abuse without exploding. To ensure further reliability, the battery was also subjected to an 8mm temperature resistance needle test, a high-speed drilling test, and a sawing test, with no fire occurring. So, Natra operates effectively in temperatures ranging from minus 40 degrees Celsius all the way up to 70 degrees Celsius. Even at minus 40 degrees and with just 10% charge left, it can still deliver 90% of its usable power. It also features 5C super fast charging, which is capable of adding 520 kilometers of range in just five minutes, making it honestly a real game changer. CL's tests show that Natra's sodium ion chemistry, combined with their engineering design, offers a level of resilience that could actually redefine safety expectations in electric vehicles, heavy duty transport, and grid storage. Sodium mining is generally less environmentally destructive than lithium or cobalt mining. Sodium is also easier and cheaper to recycle, which could make sodium ion batteries greener throughout their entire life cycle. CL can source sodium from seawater and mineral deposits like soda ash, both locally and globally. And a significant benefit is the massive reduction in carbon footprint compared to lithium ion electric vehicles. Should the EV market brace for impact? Definitely. This technology could disrupt the status quo because CL's 10,000-plus cycle life suggests that, if used daily, the battery pack could theoretically last over 25 years, which is far beyond the typical 8- to 12-year lifespan of current electric vehicles. The 5C charging rate, which equates to 520 kilometers in 5 minutes, is not only faster than Tesla superchargers, but about 8 times quicker than most current mainstream EVs. At this rate, it could completely rewrite winter EV ownership, as most lithium-ion EVs lose 20-40% to 40 of their range in freezing conditions, while CL's Natra reportedly retains 90% of its usable power at minus 40 degrees Celsius. If Natra becomes successful, it could lead to more electric vehicles on the road by addressing major concerns about charging speed, cost, and range. Beyond electric vehicles, Natra would be suitable for various energy storage applications. CL is also developing Natra batteries for heavy-duty trucks which would reduce costs compared to lead-acid batteries. Given its cycle life and safety, Natra is also ideal for stationary energy storage and could dominate the grid market before making a major impact in electric vehicles, similar to how LFP batteries did in China. 
However, questions remain. Can Natra's sodium ion chemistry remain stable under all real-world conditions? Shouldn't CL conduct short-circuiting tests on larger multi-cell packs? While single-cell testing is impressive, electric vehicle batteries operate as larger interconnected packs. Short circuits between cells or in the pack's bus bars can create cascading heat and failure modes, so CL has more work to do in demonstrating the safety of a full-scale battery pack. Yes, Natra is strong for a sodium-ion battery, but its energy density is still lower than the best lithium-ion or future solid-state cells, which could limit its use in ultra-long-range electric vehicles. Will CL Natra be another solid-state battery hype? Probably not. Solid-state batteries promised high energy density and safety but faced challenges due to high costs, manufacturing difficulties and real-world durability issues. In contrast, CL's Natra is already in mass production, uses cheap and abundant sodium, operates in extreme temperatures, and can be integrated into existing production lines. So, while sodium-ion batteries generally weigh more than lithium-ion for similar energy density, mainly because sodium atoms are heavier and larger, CL is actually countering this. They're optimizing cell-to-pack integration, reducing structural components, and using some pretty advanced lightweight materials in the battery housing. The potential for CL's Natra battery really extends far beyond the initial applications, suggesting a fundamental shift in how we power our devices and infrastructure. Its unique combination of safety, longevity, and performance in extreme conditions opens up possibilities that were honestly previously limited by the constraints of lithium-ion technology. In the realm of renewable energy, Natra could be the key to making solar and wind power way more reliable and widespread. The battery's long cycle life and excellent safety profile make it an ideal candidate for large-scale grid storage, where storing excess energy for use during peak demand or calm cloudy periods is super crucial. Unlike lithium-ion systems that require complex and expensive cooling and safety systems, Natra's inherent stability could significantly reduce the installation and maintenance costs of energy storage farms. This would really accelerate the transition to a grid powered predominantly by renewables. Furthermore, the technology could revolutionize consumer electronics. The promise of a battery that retains 90% of its power in deep cold means devices like smartphones, cameras, and drones would no longer fail in winter sports conditions or high-altitude environments. The 10,000-plus cycle life translates to devices that could last for decades without needing a battery replacement, drastically reducing electronic waste. For power tools and household appliances, the combination of rapid charging and unparalleled safety would enhance both convenience and user peace of mind. In the automotive sector, while questions about energy density for ultra-long-range vehicles remain, Natra presents a compelling solution for urban and commuter vehicles, where, honestly, Lower cost and rapid charging are more critical than maximum range. It could also become the standard for commercial fleets such as buses and delivery vans, which operate on predictable routes and can benefit immensely from fast turnaround times at charging depots. The reduced fire risk is a particularly significant advantage for public transportation and vehicles parked in dense urban areas or residential garages. The path forward for CL involves transparently addressing the remaining technical validations, Third-party testing of large-scale battery packs including scenarios like internal short-circuiting and overcharging will be essential to build trust with major manufacturers and the public. Success will depend not just on the battery's specifications, but on proving its real-world reliability and safety across diverse and demanding applications. What if LFP and solid-state batteries improve significantly? The possibility of solid-state breakthroughs overtaking sodium ion exists, but that is a big if. LFP is already cheap and proven so Natra must clearly beat it in cost or performance to convince automakers to switch. Beyond EVs, Natra could serve other sectors. Imagine a drone that flies in intense snow, a laptop that lasts 20 years without a battery swap, or an e-bike that charges in minutes without risk of explosion. Even if CL does not eventually produce Natra batteries for EVs they could still reach markets that need safe, cheap, cold-tolerant batteries. The way forward involves CL addressing questions about overcharging risks, having third parties perform tests on multi-pack short-circuiting, and scaling up production for the grid storage sector. But the bigger question is, would you trust a CL Natra battery?